what, in my opinion, are the best settings for SimCity. So, let's just go to settings. Um, Alright, so, guys, uh, seriously, these are my recommendations. Uh, they are not not um, something you have to do or anything. These are my recommendations, what I think you should have it at. Alright, first thing, screen resolution. I recommend it at, um, what's the highest one here? The highest one, 1920 by 180, uh, 60 hertz, um, mainly because hey, you just get the maximum screen. Uh, yeah. More room for the menus that are added that have been added if you have a car. Full screen, um, orderless window, that doesn't matter too much. Uh, I keep it on full screen. But lighting, I, um, if you want the best graphical settings, this is what I have here. Lighting, high, textures, high, shadows, medium, geometry, high, and animation detail, low. Now, you may be thinking about the animation detail, but if it's on low, then everything isn't, is everything gonna look all crappy? No. Uh, from a, from uh, this city's view, I'm looking into another city uh, in uh, the region. That's what it lowers, so uh, it doesn't change anything here. Uh, but it boosts your performance, your frame rate, and everything. Uh, so I recommend it, and I have the shadows on medium uh, just to help boost my performance. But uh, lighting can go up to ultra. Uh, I don't have that on just for the sake of my FPS. Uh, so. And there's that anti-aliasing, I'm not sure what that is, bro. Oh, there's a description. Uh, yeah, see, disabling this may performance. performance. And this is just a motion blur effect. You can have this checked if you want it. I, I don't have to check it myself, but um, the frame rate cap, I have it set at 60 FPS. I originally had it off, but I kind of didn't. I keep it on 60 FPS, uh, you can have it off or at 30 FPS. Depending on what you want your performance to be at. Uh, v sync. Uh, v sync, best image quality. Uh, some, sometimes I have to go through and read these just to make sure. Brightness, uh, I have it set at the medium because. I want it too bright and you can see the effects are too dark. So I have it right there. And uh, these filters, you can have it at whatever you want. I have them off. I got, uh, usually these are for uh, taking videos of uh, like your city. You just want to show it off for taking pictures. But some people just have them on to have them on. So, yep. Uh, the audio, this is simple. Music volume, I have it all the way up. Effects volume, I have it all the way up. And the mute all, you, it, it's pretty basic. Remember guys, these are my recommendations. Not saying you have to do it, but it's what I recommend for the best performance. Um, uh, you can have this checked if you want it. I have it checked, always display city boundary. Um, video capture resolution, now. This makes it 720p, and you're thinking high definition, so it must be good. But having this, um, uh, this is the resolution of the video taken with the D key. If you use Windows Movie Maker, which is a free video editing software, um, it doesn't matter what this is at because you can render the video at 1080p, and it will come out in complete HD. Uh, so you do, you don't need to worry about this actually but if you will uh, if you don't have Windows Movie Maker um, it's downloadable on the Microsoft website uh, for free uh, free of charge um, and then this won't matter but if you don't feel like downloading anything uh, you can have this set at this I found that it boosts my frame rate if I have it at the lower resolution so yeah. all right hi the UI and capture videos and screenshots up uh, UI meaning menus, everything, uh, just so if you're taking pictures with uh, SimCity's in-game uh, uh, capture button thing. Planning mode camera. Uh, 
plenty mode camera. Uh, if you have Danny's cam mod and you have this checked, Danny's cam mod will not work. So I have this unchecked. Um, as for isometric camera, which is another mod, I'm not sure if you're supposed to have this checked. What? Uh, usually I just don't touch this. Um, so yeah. The edge scrolling is how fast uh, you scroll to the edge when your cursor is here. This is set higher. Uh, you can have it set at whatever. I, I may I may just do this. Uh, hide the speech bubbles. You want to hide them? You can hide them. Hide the thought bubbles. You can hide them. Uh, I don't normally hide them. So I, I like seeing everything. Uh, so hide origin friend avatar. You can just hide that. Uh, the mini tutorials. Uh, they, those were in the beginning of the game, or no, yeah, yeah, those were in the beginning of the game, uh, I think, uh, and then, uh, if you want to reset them, you can reset them, uh, if you're coming back to the game, uh, from a long time ago, or something like that. Uh, disable random disasters, uh, this is already disabled in sandbox mode, uh, so you shouldn't have to worry about this if you're playing in sandbox mode. But now you have the ability to disable random disasters, so that's good. Uh, the enable autosave in single player mode, I recommend this myself. I, I definitely recommend this, um, mainly because normally I find myself tending to forget to save, and if you forget to save, you know, you're taken back to that last save point in offline mode, uh, so... Um, it, it's not a good thing uh, to have that happen, so I recommend having this in. It will autosave at like every second, every two seconds, uh, or uh, whenever. Uh, you'll see the little download, I mean, the saving icon in the top right corner over here. And the last one disable offline data collection. Um, just, yeah, I don't I don't care about this one. Uh, you can have to check if you want it to uh, if you want to. Uh, but, yeah. All right, guys, that's it. Uh, if you these were my recommendations. If you don't understand some of the settings, you can just roll over, like and hold your cursor there for a second, and it'll give you a description, uh, which. Um, Uh, it'll give you a description of what it does, uh, that sort of stuff. Um, so, yeah, I mean, I, I may make, maybe I'll make a tutorial video, but this I think technically already was. Uh, so yeah, these are just my recommended settings. Do not have to follow them. Um, you can go by your own settings. Uh, you can base your settings off of my settings, or you com can completely copy me and do whatever. I would do whatever you want, but these were just my recommendations. Uh, if you don't agree with me, uh, don't like rant or whatever. Just kindly explain. Like that's what I call constructive criticism. You know, tell me what would be best uh, for my settings as well to improve my perform performance. I, I know it's uh, uh, it said. Uh, Determines the overall. Uh, reducing this may improve your performance. Yeah. yeah um, actually, I'll just back on high. Just, just because, you know, I'm, I'm used to these settings. Because I, I set them on high mainly. Because I like them. Because I'm not getting the graphical settings. But yeah, that's that's it, guys. I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Um, if you liked it, like it. If you disliked it, dislike it. And make it constructive criticism as I stated uh, that's always appreciated and if you enjoy my videos subscribe to my channel all right that's it guys I will talk to you later if you have any questions regarding the settings leave a comment uh, I'll do my uh, do my best to um, I'll do my best to uh, answer your question or help you out but honestly I am not that intelligent so yeah you may be better off asking someone um, just posting a thread on some tropolis or something because uh, uh, you have a better chance of getting a, a good uh, uh, qualified answer so 
Uh, or, yeah, that makes sense. Alright, that's it, guys. I will talk to you later.